Welcome to Uncommon Pilates. Today we're going to do some spinal mobility, wake up our, our uh, joints, their spinal joints in uh, different planes of motion. You're going to need a chair and a band, oh, sorry, not a band, a mat, um, and everything's going to be done standing. So you can do this anywhere, you can even do it at the airport if you uh, find yourself on a big delay and you just need to get moving. Um, so grab those things and join me on the mat. Let the head hang for a moment, bend those knees, inhale, strengthen, and then exhale, press, or relax the head and shoulders into the mat, press through your feet, inhale, and then exhale, relax, this time we're going to inhale, we're going to dive into our t-shirt, so I'm going to curl forward, I'm going to lean so you can see me, you're going to place your hands, let's try that again. So we're going to start with our feet comfortable distance apart, about sit bone distance apart, not, not really wide, smaller base. Knees are bent, really ground through those feet. And we're going to take a nice deep inhale up. And then exhale. Bend those knees, bend those joints. Inhale. Feel that lift through the waist. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. You can look up if you wish and look down as you bend and bring the arms down. Inhale up. Exhale. I'm going to turn so you can see the side. So this time we're going to inhale up. We're going to dive into your t-shirt. So dive head first, then your shoulders, then your upper torso, hands to your knees. We're going to flatten out our back and squat down deeply. And then exhale, curl like a cat, like you're doing a mad cat. If this is not doable for you, um, you can go to hands and knees and do a mad cat. I'm sure most people are familiar with that cat camel. Same thing, we're doing it here. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. Squat down as much as you can. Exhale. One more. Then we're going to take ourselves all the way back up. Press through the feet. Draw the belly button in. Inhale to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your arms down. Bend at the elbows. Rotate. And then center. And rotate. And center. Do that one more time. Rotate. And center. And rotate. We're going to repeat all that again. Inhale, arms up. Dive into your t-shirt till your hands get to your knees. Bend your knees, squat down, exhale, curl it up. Press through your feet. Inhale, here's your flat back, slight, up, slight arch perhaps. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, wake up that spine. Exhale, curl, roll all the way up. Inhale, and open the arms, exhale. Bend those elbows, rotate, and center. And rotate. One more each. Rotate the hips, stay to the front. Shoulders rotate on top of the hip bones. And center. We're going to do that again and change. Inhale. Dive into your t-shirt. Curl. This time, you're going to scoop the ribs over to the one side, around, and back. So it's a, a, like a jump rope. Circling those ribs from side to side instead of going front to back. Pause, and then reverse. Go to the right, if up and around to the left, or whichever direction you haven't done. So you're still doing kind of that cat camel, but we're taking it off center. One more. Come back to the center. Curl on up. Inhale. Bring the arms down. Bend those elbows. Rotate. And center. And rotate. And center, one more each. Rotate. Center. And rotate. We're going to go back to this, the jump rope. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive. Place your hands on your knees. Circle your ribs up and around. So just giving you a little different perspective here. Up and around. Pull the belly in. And then lengthen the spine one more this direction. Come back to the center, shift your ribs. I'm going to the right, you may be going to the left. Up and around. And around. 
So there's still a little squat and a little lift, just not as much. Come back to the center. Let's go all the way over if you're able to. And if this is too much for you, just put your hands on your knees and rest there for a moment. And otherwise, we're going all the way down. Let the head hang. Take a look at your knees. You've got good visual here. Make sure they're not drifting out. Pull them in. So imagine a ball is between your knees. And then from here, we're going to squat down. Now, if you're able to, you can go all the way. Your heels might lift. And then push through the heels and come a little straighter. And then again, bend. If you're able to squat all the way, go to it. If not, just a little micro bend so you get a little deeper range is an option, especially if you're doing this first thing in the morning where you just don't have that mobility, but you want to work towards it. So whatever, whatever range you can do. And then we're going to roll ourselves back up to roll up, push through your feet, bend the knees, tuck your tail, roll all the way up, stretch those arms to the ceiling. This time, we're going to take and rotate. Take right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale through the center. Long arms as we rotate. And rotate. So maybe you get a little deeper range here. Come back to the center. Open those arms. Grab your, uh, grab your chair if it's not close by. And then from here, you're going to take your right foot on that chair. You're just going to lean into it to start to open up this hip, especially after doing all that flexion. You're going to lean into it. Now make sure you're leaning from your glute and not your back. So hips go forward and back. So I'm really getting a nice flexion at this joint, the knee joint, and I'm pressing through this front foot to help me come back. The back heel is trying to stay anchored. Let's go for one more of these, just a, a mobility to open up the hip. And then we're going to stay knee over, right knee over uh, the ankle. We're going to walk on down if possible. If this is too much to do, you just stay here. But otherwise, see if you can walk on down, hands on the inside of that right foot, bend the elbows as needed, and you're hopefully going to feel a little bit of something going on in that right hip, kind of pressing back. So especially if you have any sacral issues, this is kind of a nice stretch for that area. Kind of pushes that hip bone back into place, into its socket. We're going to stay here another breath. Find your balance. This is a little bit of balance work here. Letting that head hang. Shoulders relax, so taking inventory. And then come up just a bit. Keep your right hand down if you can. Take your left arm, reach it up. That is if you're doing the same side as me. And rotate. Now, if rotation doesn't feel good to you, or this is just too much flexion with rotation, come up and rotate. So that's another option. But otherwise, we're going to rotate. Go for one more. The rotation really is just the shoulders, not the pelvis. Open out. Hold it here. Relax those shoulders. Breathe. Now, to come up, I'm really pushing through my left foot, my right foot, and then I'm going to draw my belly in and lift with this arm. Pull me back up. Let's switch sides. So I'm just going to turn around and move my chair. So find your placement here. You're going to lean into it. So again, you can have your hand on the, the chair for support and for balance. If you want a little more challenge, just keep your hands on your thigh. We're opening the hips and sending them forward. So we're not jamming our lower back. We're taking our pelvis forward, not pushing our belly button forward. Let's go for one more of these. We'll hold it for a moment. Get a nice little stretch. Reach down through that back heel. Now come back slightly. We're going to take our hands on the inside of that left foot, letting that hip push back and up if this is doable for you. So the hips stay level. The chest comes over. You should get some nice... Um, uh, like a, a little bit of weight bearing for that help, uh, hip joint. And just breathe here. Make sure you're really pulled up through the back leg. That will help you with balance. Let your head hang. And then, keeping your left hand where it is, we're going to rotate out. Open. And then come back to the center. 
and open. You can gently press that left thigh into your left arm for balance. Open. And then hold this here. Inhale, do a check. Are your shoulders in your ears? Try to draw them down. Now to come out of it, use your strength. Push down through your right foot and your left. Reach up through the right arm, connecting the belly to your spine. And then release. Come back to the center. Let's do one more inhale up. Bringing our legs together perhaps this time. Dive into your t-shirt. Place your hands on your knees. Do two more little arch and curls. Just to bring us back to some symmetry. Exhale, curl. Come all the way back up. And float the arms down. Thank you so much for joining me for this little spinal warm-up. You can use it anytime you need for getting ready to go for a run or anytime you just feel out of whack with your hips. But take it gentle, take it easy, and listen to your body.